Welcome back to Town Talk, everybody. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's poppin'? Yes, sir. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. This is the Town Talk Podcast. I'm your host, JP. I'm your host, Rez. I'm AJ. I'm just here. I'm, <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> like, Damn, we was cooking. Know, yeah, we was cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Nah. <laughs> It's crazy. I'm, I'm your half host, sometimes host. I'm uh, I got AJ. M- there you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. AJ the what? What? Oh, the visionary. Come on, man. Come on, man. If, if you, you know, know, you know. If you know, you slow. Exactly. <laughs> full name, man. Full name and government. My, my, right. nah, I, my bad. My bad. <laughs> full, full. You know, stage name. I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, another week. Another week, Billy. definitely another week. Another <laughs> week, another week. Uh, yeah, we missed last week. I had strep throat, tonsillitis, whatever you want to call it. I was down bad. He was dying, bro. That shit was horrible. Yeah, and I was also sick. I wasn't as bad as you, but yeah, I don't know what you had, but yeah, what I had. I don't know. I don't know, bro. It felt like rocks. Like it felt like I was swallowing, and it was just rocks in my throat. And I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" And I went to the bathroom and I looked, and I had mad. In like fucking swollen tonsils and like these like white dots all over. People thought they were like tonsil stones, but they're not. Why'd you look? Because it hurt. And I was like, there what is there? Like what is this? This is not a sore throat. <clears throat> you wouldn't look? No, nah, I'll just go straight to the doctor and let him look. Uh, uh, no. I mean, I guess. Yeah, no. I was like, let me see if I'm dying. Then I web MD'd myself and it was like Although people do think this is a very serious condition, it can clear up within a few days. You know, like, and I was like, wow, I actually am not dying. And the WebMD did not make me feel like I'm dying. Like, that's Can't fire. Relate. Yeah, no, you would look it up and you would be Can't like, relate. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bro, my head hurts, WebMD. Why? Cancer. Like, all right. The, you I- got to be super descriptive. Like, I'm like, damn near inserting a photo of what i have no yeah for sure like, but it, they just is od i i, I stopped web because it's just not good for the mental now i'm sitting here like i'm finna die yeah your my anxiety. life is over yeah yeah your anxiety is different you have health anxiety so yeah it's all good it's all good we still here you feel me yes yeah, sir so and that's why we weren't here last week um but we are here we're gonna be here every week after this we have a lot of shit geared up for september See you in September. You know what I mean? Delgado's yes, Festival. So it's lit. You know the vibes. How was your weekend? Sick. Or after recovering. Oh, after, <laughs> yeah, after recovery, yeah. I was sick. I was sick as fuck. Like, um, I, there was no type of recovery. I ate whatever the fuck I wanted, though. Let me tell you, like, I haven't eaten well. So y'all know I'll be on my gym shit and have not been there. Um, Just got back to the gym, actually. I'm lying. I was gone for like 12 days. Damn. That's a lot for me. You be there like almost every day. Yeah, I be there. Try to, I try to get there Fridays a week. That's crazy. I yeah. mean, sometimes you need that break. Oh no, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's good. Yeah, but like, if you're on that break, you're not healthy, you're not eating good, and you're still not being active in any way, it, it drains you. Like, where it's tough. No, I mean, I'm a fat ass. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's just different though. You know what I mean? Like, I walked in there and I was like, oh, I am not strong. Like. That day one was Sunday. And I was like, "Yeah, no, this is." Mm-mm. Yeah, you gotta build the build that discipline back up. No, I, my my body <laughs> needs to build up that strength. It needs to build up that. Oh wait, we move these this weight. This is heavy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's not like a super drastic change. No, like, it's not gonna yeah. be a drastic drop off. But mentally, it's like yeah. you, like you said with the discipline. It's more like you go in there and you're like, "Damn, I'm a weak bitch." And like that, and that motivates you. Now you're like, I'm not no fucking weak bitch. Yeah, my body humbled me real quick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, um, pretty much just been eating and chilling. You know what I'm saying, nice. getting lit, getting lit, enjoying my life. <laughs> He's not getting lit. Um, uh, I went to the Angry Orchard Vineyard over the weekend. Fire, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a nice vibe. They got a little band playing, you know. They got like food trucks there that come. It was cool. 
um the drinks aren't like strong though so you they, they trick you they're like yo here and they give you like a flight or whatever and you just keep drinking you keep drinking and you just never get drunk you never get drunk. <laughs> I was about to say. Everybody else at the table is like, this is not nice. home, This shit hit. Nah. I had like one drink though. I wasn't trying to go crazy. So how you know if they're going to get you drunk or not? I was there like two years ago and I, I drank a lot there and I was just chilling. I'm noticing a pattern. Yeah. Maybe I have a, a, a problem. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should stay away from uh, vineyards and whatnot, and and things of that nature, and alcohol. Yeah, probably alcohol too, and food. I don't, right. I don't know about that one. You might be dragging it. Have you meal prepped yet? <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Next, AJ. How was your weekend? Um, I was pretty chill. Family, my little brother came over, fl- flew in. Okay. So been, yes, sir. Good, spending time with him. Nice. So yeah, just been doing little activities here and there. Been a, been a brother Yeah type shit It's annoying right Nah He not gonna know He's gonna watch <laughs> <laughs> He's like I'm gonna say no <laughs> Nah We finally saw Deadpool And we were in So The yeah, after Fucking a month <laughs> You know how long I've been waiting for this Yeah literally a month That's crazy Yeah Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself Yeah <laughs> Yeah Now you can watch All the memes and everything You can understand all of them Bro I've been scrolling past them Like crazy now you can now you can enjoy them. Now I can, yeah. But that's bro, that movie is gas. I know what I said before. I know, <laughs> I I know y'all are like, uh, <laughs> uh so a movie movie was really good for me. I don't know what anybody else says. I don't care what anybody else says. I gave it a seven at first, but I let it sit and I was like Yeah, you should work at it. It's an eight. <laughs> you should work at IGN. We um Oh no, I no, fuck them. <laughs> I forgot I went to K pot over the weekend. Um you fuck with K-pop OD, right? Yeah, I went like two weeks ago. Yeah, we should go. But well, anyways, yeah. that was a random thought, but I was like, yo, K-pop's fire because I had K-pop over the weekend and I'm like, yo, you know, this is actually pretty good. Like, it was less than $50 a person. Yeah. And we got, it's all you can eat. Yeah, and you like, can just keep ordering it and the food comes out fast. I think it was it probably less because we got drinks. So, yeah, you so that was my weekend. Bayon? That- <sighs> no, uh-huh. it's Edgewater, deep. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. not okay. deep, but yeah. I don't care about what I'm doing, uh, what I did last weekend, what I did the weekend before that. This weekend, I'm going to see Usher. <laughs> yeah, lit. I yeah yeah yeah. You're lit. I need to yeah. go, man. Oh, I'm about to drop mad bread on tickets and just go dolo. I swear to God. Yeah, just go dolo, and you probably don't need to spend that much bread. You could probably find something last minute. Yeah, I might I might just do that because I need to see Usher, bro. Yo, low key, like he might not ever tour again. I mean, that's crazy. You could put him air. He <laughs> might not. Tour again like this He's In that like you can say, He's in like Peak physical condition Like he had to even Push back dates Cause he was like Yo I'm trying to give you The best show ever mm-hmm. Exactly So he He's You know he's getting up there You know what I'm saying So it, As as sad as it might it Is to say It's true Like I mean yeah That's why this it. is a Past future Whatever present tour Yeah get so your money up And catch that residency he might. I'm, I'm not gonna go. Yo, those residency tickets were dumb expensive. Why do you think he did it now, bro? He's only declining in age, not in talent. So like, he's not gonna be able to roll this game and do that for years. Maybe he's yeah. get up there in age. He's he, pushing. He's pushing fifty something. Nah, he's he's like mid forties. I think he's like forty four now. Okay, so he's 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 pushing into his fifties, and then he's gonna be in his sixties, and that's it. It's over. Like he not. Yeah, he's not he Michael not Jackson, roller, bro. He's not roller skating. He doesn't need to roller skate. Mm. You just need to see him perform. Yeah, it's part of the experience. We saw him perform at Dreamville. Yeah, but I need to, and that was like it was good. His voice was good, but that wasn't this. That wasn't past, future, present Usher. Like I need to see him and see him perform all the classics, like from start to finish. No, not even he wasn't giving us Usher like roller skates yeah, yeah yeah dancing like crazy he was limited it was he, very limited he was limited to what he can do because obviously it's a festival so he can't do what he wants to do but this is his concert you know what i'm saying he hasn't toured since what 2012 yeah um i don't know because he was in the residency so i don't remember the last time he toured but 2012 i think it was like 2012 when he dropped 2012 um, sounds accurate when he dropped uh what's the album looking for myself i think that's when he toured because he dropped Hard to love. I don't think he toured for that album. 
Damn. So yeah, I have to see Usher. I, I might crash out if I don't see Usher. <laughs> I just might crash out. <laughs> I'm gonna be tight. I just I'm gonna have to go Dolo. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I feel the same way about Bruno Mars. I might have to crash out if uh, if he don't start releasing music. I mean, he came out with that single with Lady Gaga. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to it because Bruno Mars is one of those ones that like I need to see him as an adult. Like I saw him when I was young. Like I was like fourteen, bro, fifteen. Like I need to see him now. That I'm 27, pushing 30. Like he is a completely different performer now. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, that would have smiled when Lady Gaga came out. So he could be gearing up for something. I think he just needed something. You know what I'm saying, like, well, Lady Gaga is her single, and she said, "While we wait for her seventh studio album, this is what she's given us, which is fire." Because a duet with Bruno Mars, like, amazing, amazing. They did not miss. Not a yeah. single note was said wrong. Like nothing about that song route was like, damn. I was actually like, this is gonna be the soundtrack to movies. Like this is amazing. Like a uh, yeah. This is a duet that I did not know that I needed. Definitely didn't. Vocals were amazing on this track. I mean, to be expected from two of the two of the like most greatest artists ever. Like, I mean, yeah, and Lady Gaga's voice is phenomenal. Is, She's is, severely underrated when spoken about. Yeah, Bruno Mars has not missed since he came out. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully, you know, Bruno's like, you know what? I'm going to drop something else or, like, I'm going to tease something because, you know, we're going to drop, my boy. Yeah. What's up? He opened up for the Clippers' new stadium, the Intuit Dome. Oh, nice. Yeah. He was the first person. To perform there That's dope I saw something I think um, This song Is gonna be the 19th song That Bruno Mars Has that charted And his discography Only consists of like 50 songs Which is Crazy I mean yeah There's only like 10 tracks on Each album <laughs> That just goes to show you that My boy be on Timing Like he makes Quality music Man come on And he doesn't do A lot of features He doesn't Like You know what I mean People like I mean, get Lady Gaga. I don't do a lot of features either. But anyways, he doesn't do a lot of features now. Like when he first came out, you know, he was on some songs. Yeah, he was like on lighters. On he was on lighters with like Lil Wayne and what? um <laughs> lighters. Was is that his song? Uh, lighters is with the rest of Five Nine and Eminem. Yeah, and Bruno, you think about mirrors and Bruno, Bruno yeah, Mars. Is, Bruno, sorry, sorry. He was on mirrors, which is on the album that has lighters. Right? No. Oh. Mirrors is with Lil Wayne. <laughs> that's on Carter Four, and that's on the Carter Four. Okay, Lighters is with oh, Eminem and Rush to Five Nine. That's Bad on Meets, Bad Meets Evil. Evil. Yeah, and Bruno Mars is on that song. Bruno Mars is on that yeah. song. Yes. The fuck was he, you? I was saying that. Yeah, Yo, you, you was, said Lighters with Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold on, Yo, Billy Cooking. <laughs> no, no, no. I, yeah. I got the. I, I was like, I was like, Yo, Bruno Mars is on this song though. I got the wrong person. So Mirrors with Lil Wayne, Lighters are with, with um Royce to Five Nine. Yeah. Royce the Five Nine, Royce yeah. the Five Nine and M, yes, yeah, never know. Yeah. They dropped that M&M, album. M, that's yeah. what it was. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm like, yo, there's another high level rapper, respectfully, yeah. <laughs> Royce. <laughs> no, I think I just got confused. Anyways, point is, he doesn't do a lot of features. He did in the past. Like he was yeah. on some, you know, some songs. He's but that was the, like his like. Sorry, not to cut you off. But that was like his did. songwriting shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he <laughs> has got you off, but <laughs> he had that song with uh, Travis McCoy. Yeah, like yeah. Now nah, I was way back. I mean, yeah. you know, recently he was on the song with um, who's that fucking guy? The Gucci Mane. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, and then he had uh, Sky something. Yeah, with him, Gucci, and Kodak. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Skywalking, Scott. And no, Skywalking is not that. Skywalker. No, that's what Miguel. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck? Skywalker. Listen, 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 listen. Skywalker, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm tripping, bro. <laughs> Either way, the point is, Bruno Mars does not do a lot of features. Yeah. And, you know, in, in his later years, he's been quiet. Did his collab album with Anderson Park. He dropped his own album in 2015. 16. Right, 16. 2016. So, uh, 24 Carry Magic, 2016. Mm. So, it's about time. We've said this a few times already. 
but it's a, definitely about time that he comes out with a project. Yeah. And I think he puts so much into his craft and his work that it's kind of tough for him to put out music like frequently. I think he said this in the past, like, yeah, like I put a lot into this. And I think with 24 karat magic, he was like, yeah, this is what I'm giving you guys. Mm-hmm. Like I put everything into this. So, and it sounds like it, it know. sounds like it. So I'm not mad at the weight because I know it's going to be quality music regardless. Um, you know, just give us a little something. something. Yeah. I would like a more, I would definitely like to hear him more, put out more singles or like jump on features. Like jump on a song, jump on an album, right? That's I, I'm happy he did it with Lady Gaga. You know, this could be the start of like a, a feature run or something. I want it to be the start of something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't I mean, just be like, "Yo, I dropped this. All right, I'm disappearing again." Yeah, like I don't want it to be that. You're the not, goat, my boy. Not to compare, but like MJ did give us like four or five years apart. So thanks about that time. I mean, yeah. So makes so, sense. So Bruno and he didn't give us features, right? <laughs> not a lot. So. Yeah, Bruno. We miss you, buddy. And I just um, finally listened to all the discography. Well, finished. Nice. What's what you, your favorite album? Mm, damn, that's tough. I still want to say 24K. Yeah, really? Yeah. That that's might be the solid. I might have the most songs on. Is that because it gives you, like, some vibes? That you- it gives me the funk that I, that okay. I want. Okay, yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong though The first two albums Are real contenders mm-hmm. I mean yeah I think 24 Karat Magic Is It's up there It's top three it's only, yeah, He has it's, four it's, only, <laughs> it's top three It's not four <laughs> It's not four <laughs> uh, Just to throw out One of my standouts Moonshine is definitely One that I, I discovered That's Moonshine, a sleeper Moonshine's yeah. a sleeper for I real I feel like that's a sleeper So like yeah it's Moonshine. not even like it's a hit. Nobody knows. I feel like Unorthodox Jukebox is definitely my favorite. Really? Yeah. It's like right there, and then Duels and Hooligans is like right there. I'm I don't know, bro. I like I like his um earlier stuff. Okay. I'm just a stand though, so like you play anything off of any album, I'm gonna know it. Liquor Store Blues is also one of my favorites. Liquor Store Blues. Yo, bro. Yes. That's, Damian Marley. Yeah. That one popped after a little while for a little. What? That shit's still on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when it first came out, no one really knew about it. That shit is a hit. Yeah, Yeah, that shit is a radio hit, hundred percent. Um, damn, I think, I think I'm gonna say that mine is uh, is Duops and Hooligans. Duops. Yeah, my favorite. I don't I kind of see that going for you though I mean yeah it sounds like Just the way you are Grenade That was heavy you know I mean? mean Grenade is definitely one of Get in my singer bag yeah, like, one of my yeah. favorites, for sure. I think the only thing That separates Like that makes me Think twice is If I knew And when I was your man Are both on Both on Talking to the Moon Talking to the Moon Is on, talk talk to to the the moon is on, on Two Ops and Hooligans yeah. <sighs> Which is why It's like you know what I mean? And yeah. got, yo, got those ones, bro. Oh, got and talk, you got Talking to the Moon. You got um the other side with CeeLo Green and, and B.O.B. Like mm. that that fucking percussion at the end. Oh, bro, Marry You? Marry You. Mm. Count On Me. Count, nah. count On Me? Yo, Somewhere in Brooklyn, the bonus track? Oh, uh, Somewhere in Brooklyn. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's Come levels on, to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But yeah. then you got Unauthorized Jukebox, man. You got, like you said, When I Was Your Man. You got Gr- Gorilla. Yeah, so like I think certain songs in Young Girls, I, I think, Moonshine. Yes, Young Girls, Natalie, Moonshine, Natalie. Oh my God, Yo, man! I had that in my Yo. library before, but I was like, I'm gonna just let it play with the album, and I was like, what the? Fuck? Bruno Mars is a legend. You know what I mean every single song that he's ever put out has been a good song. He's never put out a bad song. Okay, never. Yeah. We can stand on that. Yeah, I'm 100 percent standing on that. I mean, that I believe I would have said that even before. Me I've before. never heard Bruno Mars. Put out a song and I was like, "This is fucking garbage." Never. Nah. Every song, "It Will Rain," that was on the Twilight soundtrack, mm-hmm. amazing. Like any song he's ever put out has always been really fucking good. Absolutely, he has so many sleepers and so many unreleased shit that you know people don't even know about. Yeah, I don't know about long distance and all she knows. Oh, all she knows is crazy. <laughs> Come on, yeah, Lower I don't know stance, about that. So. Yeah, yeah. So Bruno, mm. drop some music. Yeah, Bruno, please. I'm begging you. 
let this be a start of something good and don't just disappear again. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't disappear. I know you're having fun in Tokyo, bro, but it's time to come back. <laughs> it's time to come it's back. Fine, Go to the studio, please. Lock in. <laughs> Yo, we're lock in, my boy. Even though if I was you, I'd definitely just stay in Tokyo. Japan looks fun. It does, but nigga been there for like the whole summer. <laughs> I know. He's been there for dumb long. Yo. Well, he performed at the Intuit Dome not too long ago, so I don't know how long he's been in Tokyo. I feel like Tokyo. I, um, I keep seeing videos bro, of him yeah, like, in Japan. But yeah, um, that was that was good. That was an exciting song that came out. It was you know last week, not this week, but it was last week that that dropped. I mean, it's still running the charts, so as it fucking should. Fantastic song. Uh, but Cash Cobain dropped his his album, his anticipated album. I mean, you know, he's been taking the streets by storm. Yep, play Cash Cobain. <laughs> That did not energy, sound enthusiastic, right? Yo, yo. Play Cash Cobain, yeah. Yo, yo I've yo, said Cash. before. Yo. <laughs> Love you, I know, for New York and shit, but 20-track yeah. album. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, it turned me off, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I've said before, Cash is like one of my favorite up-com- up-and-coming artists like from you know the city. Um, and this didn't... Further that it just it made me think like yeah maybe I was wrong <laughs> really Damn. I didn't like the album that much it sounded repetitive and I know he addressed that it to me it sounded repetitive like I was hearing the same song over and over again the same song like flow wise and lyrics wise I understand it's sexy drill you make songs for women I get it. But for me, like, it just sounded like you were saying the same things the same way. The beats were great. Like, you, he produced it, obviously. And you're a great producer. You killed it. But as far as how you sounded and the lyrics, to me, it just sounded the same. There was a couple of standouts, like, maybe, like, four that I liked. But 20 tracks, like you said, is crazy. I definitely think it was a, a long project. I think 20 tracks is too much. Yeah. He should have given us, like... A little EP or something like that, you know what I mean? Put the best songs on there and whatever. But I thought there was versatility on that album. And not versatility in the sense of, like, different types of beats, but definitely different types of flows and different types of sounds within within it. Yeah, like two songs. Like two or three songs. It was still refreshing to hear. Out of a 20-track album... I understand. There's like a there's like a five or six track run where it sounds the same. I mean, but you are listening to this is a sound that he has. You know what I mean? This is his specific sound. No, I so get it's it. not like you're hearing him and you're like, oh yeah, this sounds like Ice Spice. Like you know, what no, I, mean? I get it, but like nobody sound like Cash. Switch it up, bro. Like I don't know, do something different. It just and my my issue is with the flows and, and the lyrics too. Like you're you're kind of saying the same thing in different yeah. ways. Like in, I mean, you're saying a, the same things different fonts. Like that's pretty much what it is. He's not like a lyricist, though. I know. And so I know that's that that's I was that's like twenty tracks. That's where, where, where are we uh, going? Exactly. So that's that's. I wasn't expecting it to be so underwhelming, though. I just I was like, yo, I fuck with Cash. I've been fucking with his shit for a while now. He's been killing features. So I was hyped for the album, and then he gave us this, and I was just like, I don't know. I really liked um like tracks that I liked, I really liked it. Oh no, yeah, me too. There's there's definitely bangers on the album. Sleazy Huncho Dawn, that intro is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of my standouts. Quavo went off. I loved hearing Quavo on that sexy drill. Yeah. And Don Tolliver too. Yeah, def- that one was definitely one of my standouts for sure. Nah, the one you played before we started was fire. When you sample Tyrese. Oh, that was um, act like act like. Yep, that one's fire. That's what I'm saying though. Like some of these samples, they bring a different sound to the album, and that's why they're my stand notes. Then then the, the rest of okay. them are, that sounds like right. the same. <laughs> <laughs> and also, bro, I yo problem. I understand what you were trying to do. Problem was a fire song. Yeah. Seven minutes. I'm just let you. Cook, Seven man. minutes is crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Every single verse on there was fire. Under, understandable. I get it. I'm not going to sit there and listen to the whole song, though. What you should have did 
is left your version of problem on the album, took everyone else's, and then made like a problem pack, and then maybe took some features that complemented each other and put them on the same song, and then just made like a four or five track problem pack that had different features instead of putting everyone together on one song and putting it on your album. I understand why you did that, but it just to me it wasn't. It's not palatable. Like I'm not gonna replay that for sure. If I definitely, guys, oh, okay. I definitely see where you're coming from, and I can agree that a pack would have been fire because I would have liked to hear some of that a little faster. But I still fucked with it. Like, what if you didn't like Fab's verse, but you like a verse three minutes into the song? I'm not finna. I'm not gonna skip to that fucking verse. I mean, what right. the hell? But it gives that that old nostalgic feel, like that mixtape, you know what I mean? Feel like everybody's just going off, going crazy. Cool. Fuck that. Do <laughs> just do the the smart marketing move and make the problem back. I, I'm giving you a free game, bro. I'm telling you, it'd be more palatable. You probably get more streams, and people would love that. Oh, absolutely. The black one should have been its own song. I'm I'm saying I'm like I'm telling you. Six black went crazy. <laughs> he did. Fab went crazy. Flo Millie went crazy. Like there's there's great verses on this song. It just sucks that it's such a long fucking song. You're right. But problem is like what am I saying? I was like, I fuck with it. <laughs> but I just I just probably won't replay it that much because problem is a problem. Yeah, is that is that's a problem. And it sucks because like Leading up to this, like at all the artists were dropping their verses. Like Fab had dropped it, Black had had teased it, Flo Millie had teased it. Like there was a bunch of artists that were teasing their verses. So I'm like, oh, like this is fire! Like everyone has a version of this song. Uh, but I really wasn't expecting him to put everyone on on the song at the same time. No features. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just him and just, the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's just him and the girl, and then ev- everyone just fucking has their own verse. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect him to do that either. But like I said, it was still cool. I wasn't like super, super mad at it. I also can see that like on a 19 track album, maybe 20 track album, we ain't trying to hear an eight minute song. Yeah, and your album's already long. I don't know, man. Yeah. The songs aren't that long, though. Other than that song, every other song is like two minutes and 30. They're not long songs. Which is why you can get away with 19 tracks, but I still feel like when you when it all sounds the same, you know, to an extent, that could be draining. Definitely. If you condense this, and I know we talk about this all the fucking time, if you condense this <laughs> into like a 12 to 13 track album, it would have been a classic. All right, you see, you dragged it because you said you had four songs, and now you're songs. all, of, all of a sudden it. saying twelve it. tracks are. It would have been way better. It would have been. Way it would have been a better listen. It would have been better listen. It, it would have been one hundred percent a better listen if you put twelve tracks over twenty tracks. But you know, now there's something out there for everybody. I mean, like I might like love it, and you might like act like. Yeah. You might like Rum Punch And I might like Dunk Like you know what I mean Shit like that Dunk Contest Yeah Maybe. I would have liked to hear More New York artists on it that, That's my only complaint For the album As far as like Oh yeah Creativity goes Is A, a Boogie's not on the album No Huncho is though And Don Tolliver Yeah nah Definitely needed A Boogie on the album Like I said Ice Spice Fisher remix Should have been on that shit Capella Capella He didn't even use Capella's problems feature Fuck it. Put fuck he was in. on Capella's album, so put um. Now this c- should have been on Capella's. Uh, uh, should have been on Cash's album. Yeah. Put fucking Young and May on that shit. Like you, you could have used utilized a lot of New York artists. That's definitely a fact for sure. Fabio was on it, right? I didn't say his name. I didn't see his name either. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember seeing hearing his voice either. So I don't think Fabio was on it. I might have heard something else. Man, yeah. whatever. Yeah, there's mad New York artists you could have used, man. But it is what it is. He probably already did it, or he probably already collabed in oh, yeah, earlier um, projects, and we just don't know. That's true. I mean, um, yeah, it's on their project. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely on their project for sure. I'm glad he's getting the love that he deserves, you know what I mean? And recognition, like, Cash is, he's doing his thing. No, no yeah, what. for sure. I'm just, I guess I'm disappointed, but I'm not mad. It is what it is. 
I said fuck with you, Cash. In this beef from Cash, not from YouTube. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, other than Cash, you know, we had Travis Scott finally drop Days Before Rodeo on all DSPs. We here. Travis Scott. Yes, bro. Days Before Rodeo. That's crazy. Let's and, fucking go. And <laughs> it was like listening to a new album all over again. Like, I'm listening to these songs and, like, they're just fire. And, and this is crazy because this is before Rodeo. So he was making this shit in 2014, 2013. And it's just, it's crazy, bro. Some of his best songs are on this project. Yeah. Which is crazy to me because it's like, this wasn't even out. It's like how J. Cole fans feel about his mixtape days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a Travis fan, I was like, yo, listening to Mamacita, Bax- Baxi Freestyle. <clears throat> Sorry. Listening to those songs again were fucking phenomenal. Bro, Drugs, you should try it. Drugs, you should try it. The music video, insane. Yeah, like him dropping that out of nowhere, too. Oh, my Don't God. Play. Like, hearing old Sean. Yeah, bro. <laughs> old Sean was great. Old Sean was great, man. I, that was, it was so smart of him to do that. Bro. It's 10 years, right? 10 years since it came out, so. That was already a thing. People already knew about that. So he was like, fuck it, I'm going to drop it. Now he's about to chart number two, 217K first week off of a project you dropped 10 years ago. Come on, man. Bro, put your shit out there. Like, somebody did not know that this existed. There's somebody that was born no, yeah. in 2003 that listens to Travis Scott and has never heard Days Before Rodeo. All they know is Astro World. And now they're going back and they're like, not even going back. They're just like, oh, shit. This came out in 2014. I'm going to fucking bump it. And now you just gained a whole nother fan base. You just gained a, a more loyal fan. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. People know these words. He was saying he has to tour it. I was like, yo, that would be fire. That would be crazy. A Days Before Rodeo tour where he performs like Days Before Rodeo and Rodeo type shit. Like he just merges it. Be fire. It'd That'd be kind of so be like an errors tour for him. But yeah. That'd be so gas. And yo, he loves touring. That man does not stop. And he shouldn't. He's, yeah. He's a fucking ball of energy. Hell yeah. He's coming back to New York in November, I think. He just doesn't stop. October 7th. Oh, October 7th. My fault. Not even. But yeah, that shit's crazy, bro. Wish I was there. <laughs> Wish I was there. But yeah, Tribe, man. You, you're doing a thing, bro. And Days Before Rodeo, like I said, it was like listening to a, a new Tribe album. This shit was fire. I didn't listen to Days Before Rodeo in its entirety, like, before this. I've heard, obviously, like, Mama Sita, uh, Drugs You Should Try It, uh, Don't Play, like, those songs. Mm-hmm. I've heard, like, on YouTube or whatever. But, like, listening to the album in its entirety, bro, like, from start to finish, is gas. It's like listening to, it, obviously, it's it's old Trav. So it was, it was almost nostalgic, too. I mean, yeah, there was definitely a lot of nostalgia there. Yeah. I think it also makes me appreciate Utopia in a different way. Because this is like a different artist. You know what I mean? Like this is somebody yeah. that has grown. Uses aspects of Days Before Rodeo and Rodeo. And then made that beautiful project that was Utopia. Yeah. For sure. I definitely agree. How about you, AJ? Oh. Huh? What the anyway. fuck you mean, huh? Are you in this conversation? <laughs> yeah, I am. Nigga, that shit was great. <laughs> that shit want me to say. I've been bumping that shit on SoundCloud. Oh, like way before this, yeah, actually. like time and time. Yeah. Nah, I don't. So I didn't have any for that. Yeah, I was, I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have probably bumped it on Spinrella, but I never did. All right, if it's not super like accessible, I usually don't bump it. Honestly, okay. like you know, there's but, plenty of uh, of songs from J Cole's catalog that I love, but it's not on my Apple Music. I'm not going to another platform i'm not downloading it and putting on my thing like i'm a music lover but i'm also lazy like scaffold was the reason why i like travis scott so so i always found myself going back to that project and being able to hear it and see the cover on your phone like is different on your streaming platform like yeah it does bro definitely we live in america what? we're lazy like there it was accessible sure people could have heard it they could have heard it on soundcloud spinrilla all these other fucking places but they weren't going to by putting it on streaming platforms, genius idea, 
You get everybody to talk about it. You get everybody to talk about you. You're the talk of the town. You're selling 217K on something that you did not even do this year. It, in the last fucking nine years. This came out 10 years ago, bro. Right. It doesn't matter if he can't make money off of it or whatever. Maybe some of those beats he don't own or anything like that. The name. He does. But I'm just... Some of it, he probably has to right now because it's on streaming platforms. But, like, a lot of people can't put their stuff out there because of the reason that they don't own it. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably why he never put it up because a lot of the stuff he probably didn't own. But, you know, he's rich now. He get, he could fucking do that. He's probably been working on this for a minute now trying to get, like, the rights to everything. He's like, fuck it, I'm about to drop everything on streaming platforms. I'm glad he made it a executive decision to take off T.I.'s verse on Guantana Part 2. <laughs> it wasn't good? I mean, well, it, was, it was cool, but it's definitely better now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like when you fuck with that, you're, you're fucking with the... The original, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, T.I.'s verse wasn't needed on the song, but still, to take it out is, like, almost disrespectful. Like, you made that choice. Yeah. You made a choice to have me on a song, put it out. Everybody loved it, even if they didn't love his his fucking verse. It's still part of the history. So you're, like, changing history in a way because somebody's going to hear that. They're going to hear that project. they never know that T.I. verse existed. That's just a way to look at it. Maybe T.I. didn't clear it. No, 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 no! no she just, just, she just didn't need it to uh, be there. I mean, I'm just saying, it, there could be some logistic side to it being on DSPs that we don't know about. Maybe Ti never cleared the verse or whatever. No, yeah, I don't know. Definitely not. No, nah, it, 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 it could just be. Hey, it could just be like, yo, fuck you, <laughs> you're off the song. I mean, not that's that, what it was. Not that yeah. they had like crazy issues, but I heard it ain't it ain't so nice over there. At fucking what's this? What's this? Um, Grand Hustle. <laughs> yeah it could just be that I'm just trying to you know play devil's advocate no I hear you and then you know 100% could be a thing it nah, could be but it's not it's not cause <laughs> Travis like, was signed under TI it could be not when anymore. Grand Hustle when was this days before Rodeo <laughs> yeah days, oh, days, days, days before Rodeo this rodeo. is before he started messing with Kanye yeah and Rodeo and shit okay like through Epic and Grand Hustle Oh, nice. I didn't know he was signed to T.I. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. Makes sense why T.I.'s on the project. That's why T.I. was on the rodeo. On the Apple Pie song. He oh. Like, yeah, he was doing narrating. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, T.I. got some business moving, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And this album is under his, uh, under um, Travis Scott's label. So no, yeah, now, yeah, now it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's Travis. <laughs> now it's Travis. Yeah, but like Utopia wasn't just under Travis's label. Yes, it was. Just Travis? No, like Travis, Epic. Same, yeah, like same thing. Now. This one is just is just Travis. No, it's it? Travis, Epic. I thought this was a Cactus Jack production type shit. Nah, still got to go through Epic. Uh probably because of distribution and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. But well, what happened, man. Now we want. I was. I was. I was Faro. Yes yeah, real, real niggas know If you know you know House Farrell was actually Really good Yo My boy put me on one year And he was like Yo bro you gotta bump in He put me on SoundCloud And I was like Yo I was bumping it I was like yo this shit's fire Let me tell you I have not heard it since that day <laughs> But nah, yeah, yeah yeah I haven't heard it in a while either so. But It's like It's rap trap Like He's he's talking his shit on there He's going crazy yeah. I've never heard it I should it's, probably go back and yeah, It's, it's like if like, It's like if Rodeo and Birds in the Trap had a baby Type shit Alright Yeah I'm gonna take no? it I'm gonna listen to it No, no yeah it's type, Yeah Cause Birds Even though it's Vibey Trap It's, it's rap. Mixtape Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Rap, Mixtape shit Yeah You got the You got the rap tracks in there Yeah I would've said Astro World Astro too good <laughs> Like <laughs> Astro World's is classic Yeah Astro World it's, it's, it's one of his Astro World's one of his classics One of his classics yeah, Rodeo, really. Rodeo and Astro World Are his classics I would yeah. say that Yeah I would say Travis has two Two classics with Rodeo and Astro World Yeah But Damn now we got this. Where yeah Where would we <laughs> Now that uh, Days Before Rodeo Is out Where would we rank This on his discography mm. What did I I'm, say before mm, I'm not gonna lie though Out of his discography Only cause So I put Astro first, Rodeo second. It might slide into third. Okay. Above Utopia. It might. 
I was gonna so say you got there. birds in the trap fifth. Oh wait, I'm bugging. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm bugging. I forgot about that. Nah, birds third, then days fourth, then Utopia. Like if I'm just spitballing right now. Okay. Yeah. First two is not gonna change though. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got Rodeo, then Astro World, then okay. Birds, mm. then Days, and then Utopia. Wow. Just just letting you guys know, Utopia's not a bad album. Yeah, like uh, and, it's, and it's not. At all. But when you're putting it against these other really good fucking albums, it drops to the bottom. And I definitely had in our uh, Utopia episode last year, when it, when Utopia first came out, I definitely put uh, Utopia over Birds. Bugging. I was bugging. <laughs> I was tripping. I was tripping, bro. I think artistry-wise... Right, Utopia is amazing, um, but as far as like replayability and like what I like from Trav, like Birds in the Trap is like peak. <laughs> like it's Astro World. Mm, damn no, hold on. I know he's about to say some. <laughs> I was gonna say some crazy shit. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah, it's Astro World. Birds in the Trap. I knew what this man was going to say. Rodeo. <laughs> Utopia. And then Days Before Rodeo. I knew it. I Days remember. at the Bottom is crazy. Days at the Bottom, even though it's really good, it's just like Utopia is it's really good to me, bro. But having like, Rodeo in top three and then having Days at the Bottom doesn't make sense. Days Before Rodeo. This does not mean that it's better than Rodeo. I'm I'm I know it's not better than rodeo, but it's it's almost in the same all right realm. Like. All right, hold on. Let me let me re rank them, and I won't rank them artistry. I'll rank them what I like because that's what I did, and I kind of fucked up in the middle. Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight, Astro World, Days Before Rodeo, Rodeo, Utopia. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, I give you that. Yeah, that's what I like. I mean, hey. <laughs> that's what I like. I mean, if should... we're talking about his projects, like yo, as as an artist, like my what I like from Kanye and his best projects are two different things. You know what I mean? What I like from Travis and his best projects are two different things. But we're talking, we're talking about what we like. We're not talking about like artistry and oh, all yeah, that other we fuck ranking, shit. I thought we were ranking his best albums. Like, well, yeah, we're ranking his best albums to us. And to me, those are his. In my opinion, what I rank, mm-hmm. those are his best albums to me. I got, I have different top fives, bro. Like I. Top five Drake albums versus um, top five Drake albums that you like. I, it? Yeah, yeah, that like top five Drake albums. I'm like, yo, like this is such a like this is a good album. Versus, oh, this album has a lot of songs that I like. You know what I mean? I'm talking, I'm thinking concepts and shit like that. Yeah, fuck with that. If you like, you like it. Cause like <laughs> CLB is you, you could. Make an argument for top five, but it got really no theme, and I don't care for it like that. Yeah, I hear that because I got like fifteen songs off. Right. Yeah, but Rodeo definitely top three. You said Rodeo top three. You said Days and then Rodeo. Days is, is uh, yes, I did say Days and then Rodeo. No, you said you said Birds and Trap. Yes, I said Days and I said Rodeo. Yes. Astro World, yes. Days and then Rodeo. Days. Yeah, Rodeo was at the top of my list before, but I revisited and I was like. What I like from Travis is say, the is the popular I shit. I remember him saying the birds in the trap. I really care for rodeo like that. I mean, no, well, from what you like, oh, not like that. I didn't like, care for it. Not so much. No, I love rodeo. Oh, I just not the Travis that I want to hear. Like birds in the trap is fire. I don't know, man. Mm. Pornography, pray for love, yeah. Maria, I'm drunk. <laughs> that there's some fire on that album, bro. Absolutely, one thousand apple pie. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. but it's not impossible. Oh my god! I go down the list of birds in the trap, and I promise you, it's better. I, bro, I put. Oh wait, actually, no, I put rodeo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm bugging. Birds in the trap to me. I don't know. I like. I like rodeo. That's better. a really good mixtape. Birds in the trap. I'm saying. Okay. I don't know. Birds in the trap had what? It had. Hold on. Goosebumps. 
had it had way back. The second, way ha- back. second half of way back. Oh uh, yeah, here in another universe. That shit hits. Uh, five percent. No, five percent. It was on Asher Road. No, hold on. Um, through the late night. With through Cuddy? the late night with Cuddy S S P interlude. Yeah. Nah, that ending. Oh yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah. he, got, he got the song with Tiller on there. First take. First take. First yeah. take is fire. Nah, Bryce and body it. <laughs> Like Travis did his thing in the first you know two what? minute and three minutes, but Bees in a trap. Ah oh, man. I just put the eight you know, in yeah, the genre. Peak nav, yeah, for sure. <laughs> now y'all see why Days is first. I mean, um, my birds is first. Nah, it was a good mixtape. Like I said, yeah, a really yeah, yeah. good mixtape. It it was the features. <laughs> Wonderful with the weekend. I mean Yeah, I mean, if we really talking about it, it's the features. No. Cause Trav killed killed the um through the late night with Cuddy. Sure, yeah, he did his Cuddy, thing. Cuddy had to set the he tone. He did his fucking thing, one thousand percent. Cuddy set the tone. He did his thing, one thousand percent. But the features definitely made sweet, sweet. No features, gas. Billy, you can't on a twenty-song project give me two songs with no features and be like, "That's Way why back. this is good." Hold on, I'm about to pull up a track list because I'm, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting saying, songs. I'm listen, forgetting listen. Songs. Astroworld is great because of Travis. Utopia is great because of Travis. Birds in the trap. Might be at the top of my list more because of features, because of the way the both of them, and it's great went. because of the duration it came out, like the timeline between that and rodeo. Yo, it honestly, was like quick. You might be right. It was quick because almost every song on this album has a feature, right? Yeah. Outside with Twenty One Savage, every single feature on there is good. Pick up the phone with Young Thug and Quavo, which was a hit. I think lose. Lose, Sweet Sweet, and um, Way Back were like the only ones that didn't and have features. They were also fire. Mm-hmm. They were also fire. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. This is a great album, though. I'll make an argument that Goosebumps would still be good without Kendrick. I don't think Kendrick makes that song. Yeah, I don't think Kendrick makes that song either. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely great. Kendrick's part is 100 times better than. Any other song he has with Travis They don't have another song together Do they? No I don't think so no. Kendrick's verse is amazing <laughs> I get those good songs every time yeah. yeah But that hook is like That hook bruh. That hook is like Infectious And tra- that's all Travis Absolutely All of it Come on Kendrick did his Kendrick killed the, his verse Don't get me wrong But If Kendrick wasn't on that song It'd still be good Arguments Arguments can be made all around. Yeah. All across the board. I'm not mad at you putting Astro World first, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was, a, that was a time. I'm not mad. That was a time. I remember listening to it for the first time when you didn't know the features. So why can't... Damn. Why can't Birds in the Trap be considered a classic? I, mm, I'd be, Like I said, I'd, I'd put it as a mixtape. Like a really good mixtape. But it's an album. What? But it's an album. It is, but I'm just saying like... The timeline of when it dropped and how fast it dropped, the fee- amount of features that was on it, the quality, like it was just, it just gave me mixtape vibes. Okay. Um. You name every single track on that album. You <laughs> tell me. You tell me how many misses are on that album. Yeah, this this might be like a. And I got a couple so misses. cult classic. This might be a cult classic. I yeah. got a couple misses for me. For me. You know what? No, this might be a classic, and Rodeo might be a cult classic. Yeah, rodeo is not a rodeo is not a classic classic, and rodeo might be a cult classic. Rodeo was hard for some people to hear. It's not it's not palatable if you don't like Travis Scott's sound. Yeah, Piss on your grave is not an easy song to listen to. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, well, that's one. But, but it's not, like, we didn't like we didn't have the mega hit on there. Oh no, yeah, Anadale for sure. But <laughs> but if yo, you, him and Post Malone, bro, in twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, yo, they were on a generational run. Anyways, all right. Um, so we get, we did our rankings, and then we went off on a tangent. I don't even remember where I ranked them shits. To be honest with you, I, I might have to go revisit his whole pro- his whole discography and come back with a better ranking next week. Yeah, yours is uh, scuffed. I'm not gonna lie, because <laughs> you gave right. two rankings and they're both completely different. <laughs> yeah, man. Because like I listen to Trav like in a different way, bro. Like when I'm really trying to like get hype, like, I'm I mean, I'm gonna listen to like rodeo and shit. What? I'm listening to no bystanders. What the fuck you talking I, about? 
Rodeo spent is, ten hours on this life, man. Oh. I mean, you could you could listen to um, so like Rodeo is like, dope. Yeah, yeah. Pissing your grave. Pissing your grave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck apple pie. Like there's yeah. there's vibes on there. That's for sure. I'm missing some, but anyways, birds in the trap is more like you know calm. Astro is also calm. Also has some calm vibes. Uh, also has some calm vibes. Definitely has some calm vibes. Like a couple of songs, yeah. Okay. Sickle mode is not sickle mode. calm. Sickle mode in itself. I mean, even the the calm is not the calmest song, but like the calm vibe is not calm. Yeah, Start maybe, like with Gunner, like niggas are sliding. That no, yeah. whoa, 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 they're sliding. I'm just saying, they're like could, it's not Rage Travis. You could argue that with like Wake Up with the Weekend. That's like more calm. It's not Rage Travis. Okay. This is I, not yeah. his raging, raging album. Like, yeah, I give you like four songs that he's not doing crazy, and that's one of them. Carousel. Carousel had some like Star- had some bass stargazing. Down Stargazing, Whoa. that's you, like a hype song. Did you now remember how we bumped that? We went around the block like twice. Roller, roller, <laughs> roller, it got me stargazing. <laughs> it's, it's not calm. It's not calm. And that's what you're saying. Switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think of Travis and I think of like crazy Astro Roller, listen, come to mind. Like he that. said, Wake Up, I give you that. Skeletons, Astro Thunder, and Coffee Bean. Those four. Carousel. Carousel has some bass behind it. Yeah, I but know. what you mean, bro? Just because it has bass, then every Travis Scott song ever is a rage song. I just gave you four songs. How many songs are on Astro World? Eighteen. Uh, yeah, God damn. Yeah. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. I could give you like ten rage songs off that album. <laughs> <laughs> Recency bias. Hey man, <laughs> recency hey, bias. <laughs> <laughs> that shit came out six years ago. Call it what you want? <laughs> Oh, uh, that was funny. <laughs> well, yeah, it's definitely not calm. Travis fucking Scott, man. Gotta go see him. I might have yeah. to pop out to that concert. I know, right? I like my life. I'll be the calmest. Um, ra- I'll be the calmest rager. I mean, there. <laughs> I don't have to go into the pit. I'll just no. Yeah, me I've up, seen like, Travis. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I've never seen Travis. So actually, I'm lying. I saw he opened up for Weekend. So. But I've not, I've been to like a Travis Scott concert. He also popped up at a Drake concert. Oh yeah, 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 generational. That was amazing. You watch Sickle Mode live. I hate you. Yep, the, the that was that was amazing. <laughs> Nothing would ever top that ever, except for Usher. I'm going I'm going to that concert. <laughs> um, uh, that was a long conversation on Travis. Fuck Let's yeah. um next thirty minutes. Right. So his next album. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean no. Yeah, for real, for real. Um, yeah, well, let's let's have another conversation, another long conversation. Let's talk about it. The Canadian dropped again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know we gotta talk about it, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, I'm not I'm gonna not. lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fan of these hundred gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever he's he, he's doing, something really good. He's showing us his creative process as he goes. Now we see new videos of him creating. Nothing was the same. Yeah, and nothing was the same as his classic. So, one of his classics. Yeah, yeah. one of his classics. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's his best album. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Watching him create that shit was amazing. <laughs> Seeing Pound Cake being created gave me like this feeling. I'm like, oh fuck, bro! Like this is this is what I was listening to in high school. Like mm-hmm. seeing him record for this thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was like. I was like, damn, man! Like he's really goaded. Like, he, like I already, I know I said this when Andre Gigs came out two weeks ago, but yeah, this solidified it for real, for real. Like, this Bro, is crazy. Watching him do the Versace remix, yeah, 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 from Migos, record his verse and shit. Like, and it's it's crazy because it's such a different Drake. Like you look back and you're like, yo, like that's not even the same person anymore. It's really not. People talk about like how his mannerisms and how he was back then. They're like something must have happened between that 2015, 2016 era that yeah. changed him. I mean, he's completely different. There's a video of him. Uh, he was he walked in the room and he dapped everybody up, and the weekend was there, and he completely ignored him. It was, it was behind backstage of his OVO fest. Yeah, yeah. He now, he dapped him. But at the end of the video, yeah, he dapped, he dapped him. him. Yeah, but it was one of those like it's still weird. Oh shit, it's still you're right weird. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I peeped the energy. He, I peeped the energy. He definitely saw him, but we already knew that they had beef, man. Like, nah, man, my man was talking. 
He was having conversations. Yeah, I don't know, bro. He was, when he was done talking, he saw him. Was like, "Oh shit, okay." What's Always up? said I overlooked him. I was staring straight. Um, listen, nah. I mean, he definitely saw that nigga. He did yeah. not say nothing to him. Hey, Amen. Hey, listen. Like, I feel like. There has, there's always two sides to the story And we really never hear Drake's side So like it's cool to get these 100 gigs And, and see what his creative process is like People saying oh he got beef with The weekend. He didn't say hi to him I feel like you owe somebody like that If he helps you like create take care right Yeah And he did shit like that There gotta be more There gotta be more there No yeah for sure It has, it has yeah. to be yeah. Has to be a lot more depth to it Like yeah. there's no way the weekend had a, a big influence on one of your best albums. Yeah. So there has to be something going on there. But I mean, other than that, we got three new songs as well. So Kitty and Rhythm, No Face, SOD. Yep. And all three of them are fire. You see, <laughs> you, you are he, a stand. Classics. Okay. Y'all are yeah. stands. Like. Nah, nah, all three of them are fire. All three of them are fire. You can say that. It's fine. No Face, fire. Fire. He was spitting, bro. He was spitting. I don't care what nobody says. I don't like Gangsta Drake. Like, I'm not even lying to you. It's oh my like, god, it's the Kendrick effect, no, bro. No, no, it's not. I the don't Kendrick like Drake f- with the melodies. I like Drake with. It's not even. It's not even that I want Drake to go back to making melodies. Is that he's doing too much in these songs for me? Like Playboy Cardi on it. Like no face, no face. Like I don't like it. Don't like it. He's spitting. Drake can rap. Nobody is saying that he cannot rap. That shit, that shit gonna change when he drops the video while he was recording this. Yeah, or no face. Now let me get no, no, <laughs> no. I don't care. It's not Tuscan leather. It's you know, not furthest thing. You know, he sounds like an old head. That thirty coming up real close to you, my boy. Hell, listen, I'm pushing. <laughs> listen, I'm pushing thirty, and your boy Drake is pushing forty. So you know what he and should he's do? Still killing it. I don't mm, give still. a fuck. Fifteen mature. Years later. He should mature. Bro, he's not gonna rap about credit scores and fucking houses like Jay Z is. It'd be very demure, very mindful. Oh my god, please, bro. <laughs> very cutesy. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, man. Listen, Drake, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I don't care. I don't care. I, I know. I told, I told you to take a break. I really did. I'm not mad at this though. I mean, I'm not mad at it because it's not official release either. Like, yeah. I like that he's just throwing shit out. You know what I mean? People get to like it if they like it. I fucking I love the song with Lotto that he dropped. Yeah, housekeeping. Yeah, housekeeping knows. Housekeeping that knows shit was fire. fire. Housekeeping knows is fire. Uh, you you don't like blue red green, right? I don't care about the rest of them. They're cool, but nah, like, I blue don't red care green about is the fire. The rest of them, right? It's up is fire with right. Doug. Nah, the are you kidding me? With the extension, what? Yeah, and like no and objection. Just, what? Yeah, <laughs> and just like the judge, the hammer come out for objections. Yeah, nah, yeah. he he was he killed that. I mean, I just let me say that's a one on one. We don't do no double checks when we in a section. Like, come on, man. Like, there's it's bars. One on one. There's it's Drake. There's bars. We know this. Like, it's up would have been a number one track had this shit not happened. I get it. It got thug. It got twenty one. Twenty one doesn't need to be on it. What? Um, I don't. That's one of his best verse. I don't think so. I I agree. <laughs> Love money, that's how I got this. Love money, that's what? how I got this. Yeah. Anyways, so then the next three that he dropped, No Face, SOD, and Circadian Rhythm, better. Better than the other three that he dropped, but still wasn't like, oh my God, for me. Taking Yachty off of SOD, fire. Give me the official version. I am now committed and addicted to SOD. Mm-hmm. Super Soak. Yeah. I agree. He'll probably drop them on Friday. Listen, if you're hearing this pod, it's Friday. If those songs are out, go bump them. Yeah. Let me know how you feel. I got a magazine. Who got an issue? <laughs> Is that 21's bars yeah. or some shit? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I got a magazine. Who got an issue is fire, though. That's a yeah, fire like, bar. But, like, are we listening for the bars or are we we're listening not, for the delivery? Just came with it. You get what I'm saying? You saying there was no delivery? I'm saying the delivery could just be meh. Yeah. Even even if it's cool, like even if you, even if he could rap, uh, yeah. You heard Eminem's entire album? Yeah. Okay. Delivery. That nigga needs to go work out with Stan. Okay. Work his issues out. And fire. 
but the bars, they're there. Okay, that was not an issue. That was not something we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking for delivery. Oh my yeah. god! Do you look I for mean, delivery with twenty one? Yeah, most mostly, and he not, delivered. I'm not gonna lie, he definitely delivered on his project. He I did. Like, I like the he flows did. they came with on his project. There's, but there's sometimes where he sounds the same, and that was definitely one of those times. This is definitely one of the no. That's definitely one of those times. This is definitely one of the times. Oh, Drake and Twenty One do not really miss. This would have been a miss. Thugs and Drake's second verse saved it barely. Twenty One sound. He, he kind of sounds the same. Like I, I can't even. I can't even replicate it. Wanna, but I guess everyone want to opt now. I'm just saying on this specific song, he sounds the like. Like other tracks, hit his ass up. Hit delivery pop now. Yeah, bro. I don't know. The bars are there, bro. You could do keep saying bars. The bars are there, but like, if the delivery's not there, then you know, it's what it is. Especially the way Drake came on the song, and it was like four different deliveries from Twenty One. But okay. Oh my god, bro. We could keep going around. We around are because like it's there in the song. I'm mm-hmm. not arguing with stands anymore because they don't use logic. <laughs> yeah, they use emotion. I mean, but yeah. So y'all really fuck with these three songs? Yeah, 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 for sure. He's about to release them. Drake has dropped like 18 tracks in 2024. Yeah, where we know you, that. Where do you rank these? They're definitely like up. They're definitely like above. These last three or just these six? All right, where do you rank these last 10? That thing, yeah, including Gordo. his feature. Yeah, it's including the Gordo, um, his feature of Sexy Red Joint, the Camila Cabello shits. I put I put in hundred gigs over all those. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I definitely hundred gigs over all those. No, ugly. Well, Gwen Delilah? no, no, oh, no. fuck no. that. <laughs> no. no, his feature on ugly, Sexy Red song ugly was is like number two for me. I ain't gonna lie. Ugly. I, I all right, I give you that. It's starting to look ugly now. Yeah. But them hundred gigs, yeah, yeah, they getting up there, definitely for sure. Yo, Kendrick fans, y'all eating? Y'all good? <laughs> you see, this is the way the issue is. People keep making it about Kendrick and Drake. It's not about that. Nah, it's alright because we know. But yo, man sometimes was you jump. gotta pop out and show show yourself. My God, bro, you got song of the summer. Like, but can you please drop something else? See, this this is what we was not worried about. We know our man was gonna keep dropping. What yeah. it is melodies? You like him with the melodies or raps? Yeah, he was just gonna keep dropping. Yeah, man, and they're, 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 there's these rumors that you know he's dropping something soon. Uh, uh DJ Academics is saying he's dropping. I don't blah. care if he's dropping or not, to be honest with you. But I do feel like after you do something like this, you take a victory lap. You know what I mean? But you should take a victory lap with us. And I feel like the music video and all that stuff, like all the not like us stuff. Doesn't that doesn't need to be what it what it is? Drop another song, like you you put the little you know beginning song in the beginning of the video. Drop that. (laughs) Drop it. Yeah. Yo, thanks for rocking with me. I'm saying, not like us. Number one, bro. Here's another one. Boom. And that song is fire. I guess it's probably some marketing. You know what I'm saying? Not having enough to pay your taxes is a federal crime. So you gotta. (laughs) I tell you what though, that shit is living in the same song as the one that was in the all right. Music video. Oh yeah, Remember yeah. That song? It's, it's that song is in the same realm. Yeah, he's never dropping it. If he never drops it, I probably won't. I'll boycott him. That shit is so fire, bro. Yeah. Reincarnated. I was dog gazing. Life goes I'm on. Oh, you know my baby. Like, like, what the fuck? Like a little rock. Wait, I keep looking for him. Let's get up. Let's get up. I get up on my feet. Yo, I remember that Dr. Dre song with him and Kendrick with the Beats commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that same shit. Oh my god, yeah, bro. <laughs> He's famous for doing shit like that. Remember when him and J. Cole were supposed to drop? Yeah. Not happening. Yeah. Never happened. <laughs> Yo, we're definitely going to get a Kendrick and J. Cole feature. Like, we're definitely getting a collab from them, too. I hope so. We have to. It's not going to be an album, but I'm... No, I mean, just after like After all of this, Cole worked with Future. Cole worked with... um. Metro Boomin, he worked with. Who else did he come out with? Song, uh, came out song with Thames, Dirk, Dirk, sure. Cash. No, I'm not, I was speaking about like Drake's ops, low key. That's why I said Thames. Oh, um, but anyways, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, we my, can definitely. We can. My point is, he'll work with Kendrick, and yeah. I think that 
at this point, it's old. It yeah. Is. This nigga's probably like, we don't give a fuck. He's, he's someone riding his bike, not giving a single fuck, working on the fall off. Yo, if Kendrick is on the fall off, that'd be crazy. Instinct, instant classic. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be crazy. crazy. Or if Drake's on the fall off. No, you lost me. Come on, do you see he's what? doing? He's doing too much, man. Did you not listen to Evil Ways? I did. Fire. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Them two can never touch a mic together again. I don't think so. I don't know about that. They can't. Sorry. I don't think so. It's not like J Cole openly came out and said "fuck Drake." He man. just chose to stay neutral. Yeah. So if they get on a song rapping about they're the greatest again or some shit like that, I'm not listening. I mean, if J. Cole raps about being the greatest ever, it's... Nah. I don't like think he, he can. Nah, he can. Nah, he can. Nah, Cole, Cole could go pop his shit. He just can't pop his shit next to nobody ever again. Him and Kendrick can't come out with a song talking about we the greatest. Definitely not. Because I'd expect Drake to come pew pew. I'd expect Big Sean. I'd expect anybody, all of them. I think I light think, it up. I think Drake and J Cole could come out a song, yeah, together for sure. I mean, yeah, I'm dragging it. You know, I'm definitely gonna be bumping it, but it can't be first person shooter. <laughs> Let me tell you, I heard first person shooter. That shit fire, man. <laughs> hey, I see <laughs> why you crashed out, Kendrick. That shit is heat. I'd be tight, but it's all right. You got the best payback. Not like us is ten times better. <laughs> yeah, and and it's ten times more impactful. They talking about big three, and this nigga's like, "You like kids? <laughs> Fuck that! You are a predator." Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. You know all the songs from the beef hit 100 million streams on Spotify. Crazy. I don't know who's fucking streaming Meet the Grams. Beef watching. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck is streaming Meet the Grams like that, but I mean, listen. They must love that dear Adonis. Do, do what you gotta do. Yo, the first line of Meet the Grams is fucking crazy. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that man is your father. Like, that is insane. To start a song that way is fucking crazy. Yeah. Kendrick is Kendrick was a villain on that song. Kendrick was a villain this entire time. No, but specifically on Meet the Grams. He oh, was definitely. Villain. Absolutely. The beat, the flow, the delivery, the lyrics, everything. Villain. Insane. Insane. Um, but yeah, we you know, we went through this already. Just Sorry. wanted to reiterate that. We're gonna win game two. <laughs> We're gonna win game two. That's what that's what Drake is saying. That's what Drake is saying. I don't want to hear it. I don't know, man. If if he really spins back I hope I hope if he spins back, he gets like obliterated like i hope they humble him so much i do don't go talking about oh unless he got physical proof of Yo, something I that know. has happened i don't want to hear anything about the rap beef i don't want to i don't want him to reignite the rap beef subliminal is cool like you know i mean y'all gonna throw y'all shots forever you know I mean that's fine cool I don't know. If Drake, if you have something, if you're going to spin back, like you said, you better have something big, bro. You can't. I hate that it has to be that, too. Like, dirt on other people, whatever. Like, it should just be about who's the best rapper, but. Yeah, but. He, it's not that. You can't be quiet and let the song run laps around you and then just pop out and do another. All right. Yeah, we're back. Round two. Now that your song has died down and people don't believe I'm a predator, like, nah, bro, I'm sorry. It's 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 over for him. Like he's not entering the same battle. Yeah, definitely. He can't not. just come in and be like, Yeah, I fuck Kendrick. It's like, yeah, but you like little kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's just he it's Kendrick don't same. even have to do anything. Nobody even cares that Kendrick beats his wife. Nobody even believes it. And just in general though. Kendrick doesn't have to do anything. Like he, Drake would have to come with a very messy, no, yeah, second sure. round. It have to, ha- to go crazy. And I don't want that. I want that. I want this all to finish. To yeah, go back yeah. and fucking make an album. You other one drop some fucking music, and that's it. I don't know, but it's it's. I get him though, because it's like if hey. you're if you're in the ring, if you're a fighter, and you get knocked the fuck out, 
by somebody, you're gonna want your lick back. So I get it. I yeah. get it. go in the hyperbolic it's time a, chamber, it's a whole rematch, though. train, train, and then come back. You watch boxing, right? Gosh. They count to ten, and let me tell you, they counted to twenty, and that nigga Drake did not get up. Nice, that's the finals. I don't know about the finals. They made it to the championships. Nigga Drake. Smoke Anyways, all, <laughs> all right. Enough about Drizzy. Enough about all that bullshit. Let's talk. What's going on in the world? Oh, uh, song station first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah song okay. station. <laughs> My bad. Skip I just wanted over. to get the fuck away from all that bullshit. Yeah. So we, we got we skipped song suggestion a long time ago, technically, because we we're already in around the culture. So if you want to be technical, shut up, nigga. Can we get the song suggestion? Good. Song suggestion of the week. Y'all already know what it is. We here. I got mine right here. I lied. Give me a second. My song suggestion is uh is it is what it is by Russ. Nice. Russ. We love him. We do. No, oh, yeah. Russ is fire. We do. We love you, Russ, over here. Fuck everybody that doesn't. Mine is Kari chasing you. Mm. Come on, man. Like two, ah. like two months late, but Kari, yeah. Whatever. I, I got my fucking song suggestion name wrong. If this is it, Russ. It is what it is. It's something he says in the song, I believe. So that's why I said that. But yeah. I thought you was prepared, my boy. I was prepared because I liked the song, but I just got it wrong. I'm like, it is what it is. Don't sound like that's what it is. Because it ain't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this is it, yeah. the fire song. It's one of those slow vibes. You know what I'm saying? You could just drive to at night, Russ and drive. Like Ride Slow? Yeah, it don't sound the same. Yeah, no. Ride Slow is one of those songs. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like Ride Slow. 2017, I was in the car with them. Ride Slow. She was bumping. Right, yeah, right after that, Save Me played. <laughs> Save Kill Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, coaster? Yeah. yeah. Saved? Saved? Yeah, Coaster. All of them shit. Saved. You talking about Saved? That's Anyways. Huh? That's a Russ song? Sorry. No, no Saved is a Khalid song. Khalid song. But he had like that. He had that playlist. Oh, okay. He had that sad boy playlist. That oh, sad boy hell yeah, playlist. bro! In 2017, I had that Khalid on repeat, Russell on repeat. More live came out. What? Yeah, different times. Uh, I'm gonna go sing like me, Chris Brown. Okay, it's from Gravity. Fire. Nice. Niggas are like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm Gravity. What the fuck is that? I can transform you. You talking about the album the Graffiti? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, it's <laughs> like gravity. I'm like gravity. <laughs> you're a stan, and you got the name of his album wrong. You yeah, you just got, I got yeah I got I the song name that. right. You so. got deducted some points. You know what's crazy? He's wearing a shirt with all his albums on it. He could have <laughs> just read it. He could have just looked at his shirt. Nah, that's cheating. Okay, I respect it. <laughs> I don't. You deducted some points. <laughs> you just say that. <laughs> Gravity? Yeah, gravity. I mean, it's close. Graffiti. Gravity, graffiti. Close. I think it was in space. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was like it was close enough. He was in space. Yeah, with the spray gun, the moon behind him and shit. Okay. Big ass moon boots and shit. He's not lying. Cut. Yeah. All right. Last thoughts, right? What was your song suggestion? I said it. Kari. Kari. Yeah, he said chasing. Me. Bet. Let's tune in. Yeah, car's fire, man. It's That's the 3 a.m. thing, right? Yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah. in Oakland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like five other songs after that. 3 a.m. in Oakland, Lemonade, <laughs> uh, Only You. Chasing You. Chasing You Now. Yeah, I fuck Kari. And it's crazy because, like, you know, he's really like a, he popped on TikTok, so you would think, like, he's a TikTok artist, whatever, you want him wonder, but he makes really good music. Right. And Fine. he shows kind of his creative process, too. Like, he'll, post, he'll be posting videos, like, of him in the studio. Which I like. But yeah. Shout out you, Kari. We focus you over here. Yes, sir. All right, we have last thoughts. Billy has some news. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got news. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got news. Billy's about to nerd out. The Sonic 3 trailer finally dropped. My boy Shadow looks so fucking good. You guys have no idea. Oh, my God. That trailer was so packed with, like, everything I wanted. Like, literally everything. Shadow is great. He literally pulls up and just starts smoking everybody. Like, they have no time to react. 
Sonic, Shadow, and Knuckles come up. They're like, yo, I'm about to. Knuckles is like, I want to fight him. And Sonic's like, no. And then he goes, and then Shadow, like, breaks his hand, throws him. And then Sonic's like, my turn. And then before he could even move, Shadow's already behind him. Like, yeah, okay, I'm here. I hope and, there's no more trailers. <laughs> Right, they're giving away the whole fucking uh, like, it was a, it nah. was, like This shit was action packed. Come on. It was, but you know what's crazy? With the Sonic 2 trailer, they didn't they gave a lot, but they still left a lot out. Like, so I think in this trailer, there's a lot to Shadow Story. You got the Space Colony arc, you got Maria, um, Gerald Robotnik, and like whatever happens over there. Like That's there's a movie. A, I'm saying, like, there's a lot that goes on in his backstory. Yeah. And they already previewed Gerald Robotnik, they already previewed Maria. So we know we're getting the Space Colony arc stuff. Um, and I'm just excited, man. He seems like he <clears throat> he's going to be the villain for most of the movie, which is interesting because in the games, he doesn't – he works with, uh, he's with Eggman. And, Egg, yeah. and Eggman's working with Sonic now, so that's interesting. And Jared Robotnik's alive. In the games, he's dead. So that's interesting too. Jared Robotnik's Dr. Eggman's grandfather, by the way. He's the one that created Shadow. Fire. Yeah. Shout out Keanu Reeves. Shout out Keanu Reeves. He killed. Yo, he said like three lines. Bruh. And they were perfect. I don't give a fuck. They were so perfect, bro. He sounds great as Shadow. Like, I'm excited, man. I'm that, so happy. That smile right there. That's what That's what they made these games and these movies for. I, shit, like. Bro, the five-year-old me is is like happy as fuck right now, bro. I'm telling you. I've been playing these games since I was like five years old. I played Sonic my whole life. I did not give a fuck about this shit. Nah, this I, this is generational. All I need to know is where the fuck is Amy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely the other characters should make an appearance. Amy Rouge. I'm sure all that's gonna happen. But yeah, all right, cool. So you don't fire. Care. Nah, I'm just wrapping it up, man. I think it's about to have a whole podcast on Sonic Three trailer. Like I can, I can. I <laughs> can. Yeah. That's the issue. I, I definitely <laughs> can. I can break that trailer down. I can break that trailer down. Fucking frame by frame, yeah. bro. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. That's all right. You're right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> um, staying on movies and TV shows and shit. Uh. A24 is about to move forward with the Friday the 13th series. That's going to be fire. Fire. A24 is a great... I mean, A24 yeah. studios, I mean, I mean, they they go crazy. Yeah. It's only because um, of the studio, to be honest. Yeah. It's not only because of that. No, nah, I mean, like, Friday the, franchi- the, the Friday the 13th... The franchise is a classic, but, like, yeah. personally, I don't care for horror shit. Right, but... But think about how much more leverage you have, like, how much more room you have when it's a TV show about... The killer, like Friday, like Friday Thirteenth is always like, oh, these people they're in the fucking cabin and whatever, and now they're getting chased down. Like more story about like Jason, like Voorhees, like that's fine. Yeah, no, that that could be good. I mean, a twenty four. Think of like Dexter vibes, like a story of why he is the way he is, or how he does what he does type shit behind the mind of the yeah, yeah. So since we're there. Yo, Bel Air's been cooking. Yo, season three. Oh my goodness. I gotta yo. watch. Yo. <laughs> I gotta watch. They've been cooking. Yo, shout out Marlon, man. Yo, I heard Marlon Wayans did a fantastic <laughs> job. They've been cooking. I seen that he's in season three. I gotta fucking watch it, man. I'm not even gonna finish that. Yeah, he's in season three. Yeah. Clearly. I'm yeah, he was only in one episode of season two. It was a really Well, yeah, I didn't finish season two, but yeah, I just meant like he was in season one. He was in season one. Oh, season. Okay, he was in season so, two. So then I did watch season two. You probably watched half of it. Yeah, He's like yeah. in the beginning yeah. of season two. Yes, yeah, it's the beginning. But anyways, yeah. We got some shit dropping on Friday. Just wanted to let you guys know. So when the podcast is out, which is already... When when the podcast is out, these songs probably already be out. But yeah. Things to look forward to. Kehlani While We Wait. Part two. Wait two. Yes. Yeah. Sir, it's here. Um, Big Sean's new album is here. Can't wait. After the delay, I'm excited. Absolutely. And uh, Corday and Anderson Pac, they come in with that that third installment of them singles produced by J. Cole. Mm-hmm. They haven't missed. Yeah. Let's see if they go three for three. I like Two Twins. People yeah. didn't like that song. It grew me. Wait. Two yeah, two two twins. It wasn't it wasn't bad. This one's called Summer's Drop. So yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fire. And um, I mean, that's it for now.
All right. Yeah. Billy, take us away. You already know what it is. This has been a Town Talk podcast. Make sure you follow us everywhere at Town Talk Pod underscore on, at YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We post on TikTok daily. Um, and we post our podcast once a week. Don't miss it. We're here every single week. And as we always say, deuces. deuces.